Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's PowerPoint video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a photo album in PowerPoint. You could do this for personal photos that you want to share. It could be work related. Maybe you have a new product that's coming out and it's images of the new product. Maybe you have a new office location opening and you're going to share photos of that office location. So I started PowerPoint from scratch. I've got a blank slide, my title slide. I'm going to go to the insert tab and here under images is photo album. So I'll create the photo album first, and then I'll come back and show you some cool features with edit photo album. So photo album, new photo album, file disk. I'm about to click it. Just make sure your pictures are available to you. It can be on your hard drive. It could be in Microsoft OneDrive. As long as you can access those images, you're good. Even if they were in different places, you could pull in images from different locations. I'm going to go to file disk. For this video, I made this simple. I'm going to pull in all the images you see here. Click the first one, hold down the shift key, click the last one. By chance, if there's some images that you don't want, because I just selected the first one to the last one, you hold down the control key and then you just start clicking on the images you don't want. I just unselected four in a row right here. For this video though, I'm gonna go back and get them all. If by chance you put them all in there and there's a photo you don't want, you can remove it inside of PowerPoint. I'll show you that also in just 30 seconds. So here's insert. There are the 16 images. I said, I'm gonna show you how to remove an image if you don't want it. So this is kind of cool. If you click on an image, you get a preview of it over here. Let's say this image 12, I don't want. I'm gonna check that box and I have the option to remove it. Now it is gone. I'm going to go with the defaults here. So except for removing that one image, I haven't done anything else. I'm going to click on create. I've got 15 images. So I should end up with at least 16 slides. There are my 16 slides. I do want to make an important note. It does make a new PowerPoint from scratch. So the other one that I had that had that one Title slide is still in the background. You don't see it. By the way, one of 16 slides in the bottom left and there, slide one is always photo album, which you can change. I recommend you change and put whatever this photo album is about here. But there you go. That is that simple to make a photo album. Now, if you need to edit the photo album, and why would you want to edit the photo album? Maybe I need to add more pictures. Maybe I don't like the pictures basically taking up the whole slide. I would like to put in some text with the pictures. Easy to do. Same steps. Insert. Photo album, except we're going to edit the photo album. There are the pictures. I could come in here and add more. I can also rearrange them from here. I can rearrange them in the back in normal view. But here is a cool feature. Right now it says picture layout fit to slide. I'm gonna go one, I could go two pictures. Let's look at this real quick. Two pictures, hit update, watch what happens. Two images on each slide, watch what happens. Well, I gotta click on a slide. Two images on a slide, there you go. Back to photo album, edit photo album. Here's one I really like, one picture with title. By the way, there's two pictures with titles. Click update and here you go. Now you can come in here and add some text describing what that picture is. Really cool feature. A lot of people just don't know that this is in here for PowerPoint. I use it quite a bit. Very nice. If you have any questions about inserting and creating a photo album in PowerPoint, please put them in the comments below. Thank you for your support for my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe and ring the bell. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.